Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And if you were listening last week, I talked about the importance, about the greatest gift that we can give anybody, and that's the gift of presence. And so when my friend and colleague is here in studio with me, I can tell you that's a New Year's gift for me. Welcome back to the program in present. Chet Chasson. Chet, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you, Keith. It's, it's really good to be in studio today. Thank you so much. Go, Chet. Executive Director of the Great Lafouche Port Commission. We know the value of the port. We know all of the things that it means, not only for our small-knit community there, a little bit bigger in community in Lafouche, but certainly what it means for the state, for the nation, for the globe. Mm -hmm. Let's get an update. What's going on at the port? What are some of the things happening uh, there at the end of 22? So look, at, at the port, we're, we're doing uh, continuing uh, to make progress. Okay. Continuing to make progress on recovery efforts and right. projects that are going on there. Right. We're continuing to build bulkhead and do those things to attract new business, and we believe we have some coming in, um, and, and, and continuing to move forward so that we, we can uh, get the future to be today. To start right. now, right? To start now. And look, the deepening that we talked about, those yes. bulkheads that we talked about, those are some exciting things because what it does is it brings a great port opportunity yep brings more opportunity. That's correct. And, and that's what we're trying to do, right, every mm -hmm. day is, is what is that opportunity we can bring to our community? And, and every time we go, um, you know, we spend a lot of time out of this area, right. right? Attracting new business, spending time at other conferences and conventions, meeting people, doing the things necessary so that they know who Port Fouchon is, what our mindset is, mindset is and that we're people to do business with. Well, and, and I will tell you, because we've talked about this quite a bit, there's a lot of people who are looking at Port Fouchon going, how do we do some of the things they're doing? That's correct. That is correct. We've, we've been a, the port historically since, since our inception has been a leader. Mm -hmm. uh, and here in the last 25 years have really been at the forefront of all things energy and energy related and port related. And we're proud of that fact. And, and we need to tout that. We don't do it enough. We right. need to tout that. We yeah. have great employees that work directly for the Port Commission. We have great people that work for our tenants in the port. We have great tenants. Yeah. And, and they do amazing work uh, for our community, for the state, and for our national economy. And we're looking at the possibility of really bringing in things that are bigger and better. And when I say bigger and better, I mean that literally. Mm -hmm. We're being, bringing that opportunity to bring some of these bigger ships in. That's correct. Some of these bigger um, opportunities. And that's going to employ a lot more people. And, and that's always something that's a focus for the port, right? Absolutely. For, for both the port and the airport, mm -hmm. we're always looking right. at, at opportunities that can make us bigger and better and bring in that new business, mm -hmm. bring in different types of business. So we're not only focused on oil mm -hmm. and gas, that right. it's, we're more than likely gonna be energy related and that's, that's great because that's right. our niche. That's who we are, it's mm -hmm. what we do, and we do it well right. in this region. Right. Um, but it, it's not always gonna be just oil and gas, it's that energy addition that we keep talking about. Energy addition, addition. we wanna keep saying that. And it's your term, you've coined it. Yep. And it's the energy addition because we know, we, we can't really abandon or forget who and where we are because we do it better and cleaner there than anywhere else. And that's one of those things we need to remind people, we do it better and cleaner there. And it's important as we look at what those energy additions are and the possibilities. That's right. And there's a lot of excitement around that right now. Mm -hmm. There's excitement on what we know, which mm -hmm. is, you know, the, the fossil fuels, the oil and gas industry. There's a lot of work taking place there. It's a lot of business there. Uh, and, and we can attract more, but there's, there's business there. So we're not forgetting about that. We're right. never going to forget about that. No. That's here. Uh, but as we look forward into the future, those, the, that renewable energy, that offshore wind, that hydrogen, that carbon capture, which is not energy, but it's more business for our, for right. our industry, right. uh, that carbon capture and sequestration uh, potential is there. And those are all things that we can tap into that our, um, our citizens here in, in, in Terrebonne and Lafourche, the people of Louisiana, know how to do business in that realm. Right. Uh, so we're, we're here, we're gonna continue to be here, 
and we're uh, we're going to be we're excited about what's coming in the future. Yeah, and so there, you know we talk very often about all of the things that we've had to do to kind of uh, rebuild and all the recovery process. Um, but we should be really proud of the things that have taken place to this point, but even through and weathering the storm yep. and here looking at the end of 2022, the things that y'all have been able to, to maintain and to bring possibility for new business. In. That, that's correct. And, and we're doing a lot of things as well in the community as best we can. We just recently ended the year um, with we did a, a safe ride home program. Oh, wow. Our Harbor Police said, no questions asked. You call our, our phone number. We're going to pick you up if you need bring a ride home, home and wow. bring you home. We just did that. We had one phone call. We brought four people home, and that is four lives that we know were safe and whatever other impacts that could have been if the worst would have happened. So, so that's the kind of things we're, we're thinking about and wanting to do. We also did a program where we worked with the different uh, LaRose Civic Center, the Cutoff Youth Center, and the Golden Meadow Park, where we did put up some signage. You know, there's, there's limitations on what we can do um, and, uh, and spend our money on, but we can do some signage. And we worked with them and was able to give them some funds as well. You know, Chad, um, very few of us can look at this end of the year mm -hmm. without thinking back some. Right. to the year that was 2022 mm -hmm. and in doing so i just i know that there have been some wonderful recovery efforts but more than that i mean for the port to be back as quickly as y'all are and i've we've talked about that yeah. time and time again right. i've explained to the public how remarkable that is uh and how you did what you did but more important let's talk about maybe some of the things we've learned in 2022 mm -hmm. and some of the things we're really uh looking at uh, before we talk about that in the last segment yeah some of the, some of the things we learned uh were are, are that it takes a lot more time than we would like to do some of these recovery projects. We've got to be patient. We've got to be patient. <laughs> and that's and hard. It's, it it's just very is. difficult because you just want to get it done. Right, right. And, and, uh, and we're, we're slowly doing that, uh, but, we're, but we're getting there. Okay. And, and by the middle of, of 23 of this year, we'll be done. And uh, because we're, we're, we're in the process of doing uh, a number of projects now and, and, and are continuing that. Okay. So, so we're excited about that for right. sure for the new year is, is to kind of to kind of push away that recovery. But we've we've learned a lot about ourselves okay. as an organization in terms of the people that surround it and how resilient they can be. We're, our organization, you know, is, is a microcosm of the community. Right. And, and uh, we are a resilient community. We're a resilient region. We're a resilient state. And our organization is resilient. And we have great people that work hard. You know, it's really interesting. The only thing I can like in that, too, and I look back at what has happened to most of our school systems. And we talked about the teachers and how the teachers were mm -hmm. not concerned about themselves or their homes. They were concerned about the students and what they needed for learning. I guess the only the best comparison would be with people who work at the port weren't necessarily as concerned about their homes or their families. They were worried about what do we do at the port? How do we get the port up and going? Because they know how important that is. That's the value and the strength of people being focused on more than just themselves. That, that's correct. That's correct. And and look, I, I said it at, at our end of the year banquet that we have uh -huh. to to the employees, uh, you know, saying how proud I was of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm still going to be, I'm always proud of them. Right. Uh, it's, it's an honor to work, to, to work with them mm. uh, every day and to work for the port because of the type of people we have and, and the type of community we have. It's an honor to work for the community. It's an honor to work with them uh, because, because they're, they're, you know, not, they're selfless people. And, mm. and their, their number one priority is to do the things that are going to keep our community safe, keep our port and our airport safe and our community safe. Uh, in times of need, mm -hmm. uh, and and you look, our people, um, you know, we're we're in the middle of, of recovery, but our Harbor Police Force worked with the the local uh, Rotary Club mm -hmm. and put together a toy drive, not a toy drive, but got went and purchased toys for three families, and provided a Christmas to three families, mm -hmm. because who wouldn't have had it? Who wouldn't have had it? Because they're just good people. Right. And, and, and the Rotary Club wanted to partner with them, and they did. And they, with that, they were able to provide three families with a Christmas that otherwise would not have had it. Those are the type of people we have working for the port. Those are the type of people we have in our community. Yeah. And, and, and I'm, not, I'm not just bragging about the, the, our organization. 
it again, it's it's our organization, the Port Commission, and the people that work in it are a microcosm of the community at large. And we right. have great people in our community that do so many things. And and um, you know, our organization is is just like that. And right. and we we've learned a lot through the years um, and, and through this last year as well about how, like I said, how to be resilient and how to give back to our community uh, when it's not expected of us. It's funny you talk about the humanity in that, but to me it raises the, the statement of the humility and the humanity. It's kind of interesting two terms that you've used. You consider the fact that you work for the port and all the people that work really work for you, you mentioned work with you. Mm -hmm. And that's the humility that starts at the top and that trickles down. It just really does. It lets everybody know about their value. Mm -hmm. It lets them know that what we do is important and every job really matters. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. just really cool. Absolutely. And look, we have it's not everywhere. You don't see it everywhere, yeah, right? right? But right. it's what you appreciate about the people that you work with. That's correct. They work for you. That's correct. But you consider them working with you. And look, look, we have 42 employees when you include myself. Okay. 21 of those are harbor policemen. Wow. Keeping people safe and secure in, in and around the port and in the 10th ward of the parish. Right. Of Lafouche Parish. Right. The other nine of them are maintenance workers, keeping things operating for the port and, and for our community. So, so the majority of them are boots on the ground, mm. with, in, intertwined with, with our customers, intertwined with the community, and the rest are, are admin staff that just, you know, keep the books <laughs> and, and, and keep the ball rolling. Do the on, little on the things. They do the exactly. little things. Right. Exactly. So, so we have it spaced out right, I believe. Wow. And, you know, again, talking about those people that do it and do it right, uh, as a hospital worker, I worked at, at Terrible in General for 15 years of my career, really learned how to be a social worker there. It was really important that I saw how proud the people that worked in housekeeping and maintenance and how the impact that they had on people's health. Because right. people get better when people care about them. Mm -hmm. the good things happen at the port because you've got a group of people they care about the outcome. They're invested. <clears throat> and that starts at the top. Yeah. And that's just really, really cool to be able to see. We talk about that value. We talk about what a gift is like. And recovery has been good. It's been interesting. Let's talk about moving from recovery to renewal. Okay. In 2023 is about renewal. We're going to be coming out of recovery towards the middle of this year, 2023 coming in to re renew. We're going to renew our office. Right. We're going to be back in our offices and, and doing the things we, we've been doing uh, for the last 63 years almost. Mm. Um, and and we're, we're going to, you know, kind of renew our commitment to the community, renew our commitment to our customers, renew our commitment to everything uh, that is good about uh, the port, about the airport, about what we can bring to our community, renew, renewing you know, new jobs, new business, new investment, new infrastructure under construction, and get us to the future. Right. And this is, this is that next step to the big things that are gonna come to, for this community, this region, this state, in the future. We're, we're so excited about that. And you know, it's really interesting. I think so many people on a much smaller scale have been able to do that, or at least part of that process, where they've seen some difficulty, some brokenness, in whatever form that means. Yep. And then once you get to that certain point, you can start seeing how we can turn that page yep. from, all right, we're to the point of recovery enough that we can see what is new and what is possible. And I love the old Catholic perspective right. of renewal. You and I both experienced that when we were younger mm -hmm. about what renewal means. And it's about a commitment. Yep. It's about the word commitment to what? The commitment is to the port, to the airport. But the most important commitment is to the community and to those people you serve and all those people that you'll serve in the future. That's correct. That's correct. And we, we have a sense of pride in, in what we do every day at the port and our commissioners mm -hmm. that are elected to, to, to guide us in, in those things that we execute every day for them. Right. Um, we have a sense of pride in what we do, and we want the community to have that pride. We have a pride in them. We mm -hmm. have a pride in our community, and we want them to have pride in us. And I, I think they do. 
but uh, we work hard every day to make sure that they do. And, and as we continue to move forward and we pay attention to what's going on on the state level, right. we pay attention to what's going on on the federal level, and we input ourselves in all of those scenarios to make sure that the things we need for this community, the things we need for our port and our region and our state, we're getting them. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what that means. Is that support? Is that financial support? Right. Is that the possibility of something new that, that could potentially come to us at the airport and to the port? It's all of those things. And when you say not spending time here all the time, sometimes you've got to go out that's right. and meet with those people and say, well, this is what we're doing. Yes. Let's see if that's an opportunity where we can partner. That is correct. Partnerships that matter correct. so much. And partnerships matter. Partners in projects, partnerships in projects matter. Uh, you can look at some of these major projects that we've done and are, are under ongoing as we speak right. uh, in terms of those large infrastructure projects. There are partnerships between the federal, state, and local governments to make them happen. It's not just one source of funding. It's even industry. Yeah, that's putting exactly. Up funds. It's, it's putting a group of people together that have a one common goal and making it happen. And, and we, we in, in insert ourselves in those, in those things. And, you know, I, I often say uh, I'm just a port director, but I'm not. No. Uh, it, no. I do, I, I'm not just a port director. My board gives me the opportunity to continue to, to put myself, put the port in a situation right. um, to make things happen as best we can, which are the, for the betterment of our community, for right. the betterment of the port, for the betterment of the airport, the betterment of the community and the region and the state, the federal government as a whole. Right. And it's about, like we talked about, really paying attention to the little things and letting people know what you're really about, about being transparent. Mm -hmm. But it's also about sharing the vision. That's right. This is what we see. And I think that that's what's happening with this new home, this renewal of coming yeah. back home. And coming back to your office, I'm going to tell you, I, mm. I, I can only liken it to sitting in my driveway in a camper looking at that, that house just seven feet away. Mm -hmm. I want to go back. That's right. I want it to be better, but I want to go back. And so I understand and can embrace this idea of renewal for what that's like. And you get to be able to sit in an office with the people that, that do some of that work that's correct. with and around you. That's right? correct. We've been separated from that yeah. for a long time. That's right. And, and there's, there's been a lot of, you know, we, we've been sitting in our camp, we call it, uh, <laughs> right. working right now right. And, and making do. Right. Uh, and, and the fact that, that our, our office staff has come even closer together right. during that time has been amazing for us. And, and I think that's going to take us to that renewed um, uh, position from recovery to from renew. Recovery to renew. You know, people do one of two things in times of difficulty. They either tear apart or they pull together. It's always my wish to be able to see people really be able to come together and really embrace what that new normal is going to look like and feel like. And it is very clear with your leadership, with the commission, that that's what we have in the port and at the airport. It's, it's got to make you proud. Absolutely. Makes me so proud. And we're so excited to be able to continue, hopefully, throughout this, this year, to share mm. in, in, in the, what's coming in terms of finalizing our recovery and what's coming in terms of renewal towards the, towards the end of the year in different things, mm -hmm. better opportunities, bigger and better for our, for our state and our community. Bigger and better. Come. We appreciate it. Chet, thanks for all you do. We Thank appreciate you. it. All right. All right, guys, that'll do it for this particular segment of Bayou Time. Don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming here on HTV.